freshman Maya Jane moved from California in the summer and made a name for herself quickly by trying out and making the varsity basketball and golf teams. I started playing basketball when I was about four years old and I have an older brother who was who played in high school and he was also a college coach and so he kind of started me off when I was young. Although Jane is faced with practices and a big change from middle school basketball to high school basketball, Maya says it's all worth it. It's an awesome feeling. It's always been a goal of mine and I'm surrounded by great people and I just it's awesome playing. Standing at five feet seven inches tall, the 15 year old Jane has attributes of standing out to head basketball coach Ross Reedy. First thing is just um, I mean I guess her ability. Um, you know, she came in already with a pretty expansive game in terms of what she could do on the basketball floor and uh, what she lacks in speed and quickness and maybe size. She's got a lot of savvy. She obviously has a high basketball IQ and, and uh, she can put the ball in the hole. You know, other than that, we feel like well, all of our kids uh, you know, act right and have the right character, but uh, you know, she's, she's got quite a bit of ability. Well, I think that the two things that, that do go hand in hand is that there's an artistry in both sports, you know, so there's a playmaking, there's, there's a mental game of it, and, uh, you, and, and especially in terms of being able to be mentally tough and persevere through struggles. So, and a lot of people don't see that as a skill because it, it's not a, one that's so physical, but absolutely that transcends not just sport, but also into education and all facets of life. The only underclassman on the girls' varsity basketball team, Jane is also part of the golf team. I also have another brother who plays golf, and so him seeing him succeed, and I was like, oh, maybe I could try this. For golf, it's really fun. It's kind of like my, like, away from all, like, the chaos, and so I enjoy playing that, and it's hard to manage the time because, like, you only get so much time after school for, like, light, and so... But you just got to figure it out. Head golf coach Shannon Gluewell supports Maya's decision in playing two sports. I think it's great. Athletes should be multi-sport athletes. Gives them a chance to compete in other avenues. And also it reduces overtraining and overstress injuries on the muscles and body parts that they're always using while they're just playing one sport. When they play multiple sports, they're getting to engage other areas of their body and taking some of the pressure off of the, the areas that they've been using for training just one sport. Reporting for WTV, I'm Jamila Johnson.